railway trains. So this layout here might look a little bit familiar. It was the uh, site and the host of the day 25 of the 25 Days of Christmas series. But I decided as one of the first videos of 2023 and try to do something a little bit different, uh, we'll do a layout toward this layout. And I'm gonna have my grandfather here. He's gonna give a little bit of history on the layout, where it started, how it started, when it started, um, all those cool points. We'll go over a little bit of the scenery, some of the history behind it, how it was done, why it was done. And then of course, at the end, like everybody loves, we'll, we'll go ahead and run some trains. So hope you guys are enjoying your new year so far. And sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. My name is Roy Johnson and this is the train layout in the living room of our home in Charlotte. The layout started about 20 years ago. We had a layout upstairs in the room above this room, in a bedroom that was a classic Lionel L-shaped layout with 031 track. But as we began to get some MTH uh, locomotives, I thought it would be nice to have 072 uh, curves. And so I came up with a design that was going to be two a uh, series of modules, two foot by eight foot and two foot by four foot, that would make a classic donut layout. So the original tray layout is this part right in here that comprised that one single track, which eventually became two loops that we ran on and we really enjoyed it. We enjoyed it so much, in fact, that whereas the train was designed to be taken down after Christmas, we left it up and we began to add on to it. And so we made another amount of layout inside the original loop which would hold the town. Uh, we begin to add uh, the skating rink area. We added a siding on the back side. We added on ultimately the lake which is the part that comes out and then we added off camera you'll see in a bit the roundhouse turntable and engine house area. So this layout has grown a lot over the last 20 years. It started off as a summertime layout, but because we use it so often with the holidays and Christmas parties and such, we converted it into more of a winter scene kind of layout that you're seeing here today on camera. Um, it's basically got a folded over figure eight on the inside that does two elevations and then an outer loop that's all level. And from that loop, we have access to the sidings in the back and access to the turntable in the engine house off to the, the front of the house. The layout is based on late 1940s, early 1950s time frame in general. Small town that has a few businesses and this is sort of the business part of the town with the gas station and the grain elevator and the feed and seed store and a lot of activity going on around it. As the layout began to, to grow, the town grew with it, and so we have the station out in front here next to a small city park, and then a couple of the residences. Uh, and on this given day, there's a sort of a Christmas parade next to the Christmas tree lot. And behind that, of course, is the church in the pond. And there are some Boy, Boy Scouts camping in the woods. And then there's an ice skating rink further to the south. And in the background, you begin to see some of the railroad shop areas. A welding shop is taking place, and then the engine houses and the turntable are adjacent to that. And so this is the end of town that really forms the home base for the, the railroad and its shop equipment. Um, it houses both diesel units and steam engines. And of course, this is where we are more, more uh, generally getting into equipment from the 1960s and even more recent for locomotives. But some of the engines and some of the equipment clearly would be back in the period of time of the uh, post-war era.
All right, guys, so what you've got a little bit of a video on here, a little bit of a uh, description on it is the layout that kind of introduced me into the more scale and definitely the Proto 2 and then now even Proto 3 stuff. Uh, this is kind of where it all began for me. Like my grandfather mentioned, we did have the layout that was upstairs that was all over 31. Um, I know that my Amtrak Genesis set was ran right up there, my Chessie set was ran right up there, but a lot of my more modern stuff kind of originated through this layout. And it's kind of where I went with my layout, as you guys have been following along for a long time, knew that I was fast track. Well, this is Gar Graves, that's kind of where it all came from for, for my dad and me. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this video, a little bit more in-depth tour of my grandparents' layout. And we'll see you on the next video here on TJ's Toy Train.